So we're going to start out with the skull. Now, the skull is actually, this whole thing is the skull. It's actually made of 22 fused bones. And then there are seven other bones that are associated with the skull. We're going to spend an entire lab talking about just the skull and its various bones, what the specific bones are named. But in today's lab, we're just going to deal with um, major structures and, and regions. One of the things that we are going to do is we're going to make sure that we're comfortable with the mandible. It's basically your lower jaw. We've been exposed to the mandible already with the digestive system. And then our regions, I'm going to do my regions in, in blue. We have a facial region. And again, lots of bones in there, lots of bones that we will know the names of. We have a frontal region. The frontal region is like forehead area. We have the parietal region. The parietal region is on top. And you can see that there is a frontal bone and a parietal bone. That's good to know. We also have an occipital region, and guess what? That's the occipital bone. And then we have the temporal region, and this is the temporal bone. Um, let's see. Those are my regions. Cranium. The cranium, all, anything that touches brain is cranium. So the skull includes the cranium and the mandible. Cranium touches brain. So there's a bunch of bones in there that touch the brain. Um, there's another bone, the hyoid bone, and I have an image of it for you because the hyoid bone is actually kind of difficult to visualize. It's this little red guy. It's like a U, and it's tucked up under your mandible, and we can see it. We can see it on Carlos the skeleton. We can see it on Esther the cadaver. It, it's tucked up un, underneath your mandible, and it actually attaches to muscles. So that's good. Those are your, that's your skull parts. Now we're going to move on to the next one.